wow oh wow xrp is trending guys and we can see people are extremely bullish on the future price of xrp so we have a couple different figures i'm going to be talking about in this video from the community as well as taking a look at the charts and we have some incredible news here also in regards to one of the court cases and this has to do with the xrp ledger so with that being said i do have a telegram group of my own if you guys would like to join that and be a part of my community space get to know me hang out and chat you can find that link down in the description below and if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit subscribe hit the thumbs up like button and with that being said let's go ahead and roll on into this this first post here coming from Jack the Rippler. I've actually got a couple different tweets from them today or posts today. This says, boom, Judge Torres, Ripple doesn't own XRP Ledger. Interestingly, the decision did not just deny the SEC's bid to file an immediate appeal in the case. It also provided clarity for XRP Ledger and its native cryptocurrency XRP. So this filed on that of October 3rd. It says here, third parties as part of Ripple's XSpring initiative to develop new applications for XRP and the XRP ledger. Ripple does not own the XRP ledger, which is, quote, based on open source software. Anyone can use the ledger, submit transactions, host a mode to contribute to the validation of transactions, propose changes to the source code, or develop applications that run on the ledger. Then it runs on a little bit further, but that is very interesting. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below. And then another post from Jack says, raise your hand, if you believe in $100 plus per XRP. With us being right around 52 cents or so, going to a $100 price point would be extremely life-changing money for anybody that came in at this price level. Well, not anyone. If, if somebody bought one XRP, then sure, they'd have $100, right? But hey, $100 is $100. And so this is an extremely bullish perspective from Jack at $100 per XRP. But why should we stop there? In this other post, Jack is saying, boom, XRP could see the value skyrocket to a range of $869 to $1,000. That is a huge difference from where we're at right now. But to be fair, if we take a look at the trend history uh, or the price history, I should say, of that of Bitcoin, Bitcoin, when it started out, it was less than a penny. Sure, for it to get to $69,000, it did not happen overnight. It didn't happen in one year. Heck, it didn't even happen in five years. It took quite a while and it had to be the number one biggest cryptocurrency out there. Do keep in mind, XRP is on many people's radar. There's a handful of people that do own this cryptocurrency. It's one of the top cryptocurrencies that are out there. And with this price evaluation, let's take a look a little bit further. So they're showing here that where the pump begins, you're looking at right around 2016, 39 month cycle, and then ending there around 2017, pump begins, 39 month cycle, so yes, XRP not having looked like it started right there, way in the back, the pump begins. And then this moves over to that of around the end of 2020, or the middle of 2020, I should say. The pump begins, makes its run up. November 1st, 2023, we begin a new cycle upwards. And then you can see these different price point, uh, these different date ranges here. So February 26th of 2024, suggestively, obviously, we haven't hit that yet because we're still in 2023. But you see a big rally taking place there around that of February suggested. And then April, the end of April, then in June, and then December of next year, they are looking at on their analysis, right around $869 to $1,000. That is a huge rally. Do keep in mind that next year, we have the Bitcoin halving event. And people have used that as a reference point for when we see bull markets take place. A lot of crazy things happening in the world right now, but something like this, if it played out, woo, 
wow, that would be insane. XRP looking at it on the trading charts. We do have the price down a little bit on the day. It's down 0.74%. There is some terrible news that's going on. War breaking out over with Israel and with the Hamas. If you guys want to go and look up more information on that, you, you can. Um, but with that, a lot of people are freaking out. And there's a lot of questions about how much of an involvement the United States might get involved, if other countries are going to get involved, starting to hear words about the Taliban and them trying to go through and getting over into Israel as well. And they, it's just, there's so many different things that are happening in a short amount of time. And we have to see how things continue to play out and how it's going to affect the economies, how it's going to affect investments. So that is something that is a wrench thrown into the machine that can throw all these things off. Because when we look at trading charts and we look at technical indicators, it's suggestive to be one specific direction, right? So you're more likely it's going to go up. You're more likely it's going to go down. Then you get some weird thing like this that happens war and that throws everything off. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think that what's happening right now with the war is going to have a negative impact on the short term, on the long term, or do you think it's not going to phase anything yet? Um, do you think that there's anything that needs to happen in order for it to have a huge impact? Be sure to tell us your thoughts down in the comments below. And that's what I got for you guys in this video. So thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Double shout out. Thank you to WeLoveSafeMoon.com, Victor Vegas, SafeMoon Oz for being higher level patrons. Thank you to my YouTube members for your support as well. God bless and we'll see you in the next episode.